once bustling with industry as the most productive mercury mine on the planet, the ghost town of Terlingua, Texas, is now a quaint reminder of the bygone era. Jules takes some downtime. Yeah. He's heard of rattlers reaching monstrous proportions here, and he's eager to see some of these phantoms in the flesh. A snake expert in town is news that gets around fast. Hello, this is Jules. Yes. Yes. Wow. I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Thanks. Bye. The boy saw a large snake go under the pulpit. And that was the end of the service. The small chapel in Terlingua has an unwanted visitor. of offerings under the altar is the perfect place for an irreverent rattler. Oh. I see his tail. Where's his head? I can just see the tail doing this. He's a very small tail. That is not a very good sign. Two sheds on there. That's the only reason it's making a noise. That's the two dry bits of skin just flicking together. Easy, baby. There we go. Look at that. That is a Western diamondback rattlesnake, probably a few months old. I'm gonna put you in the jar, buddy. That's it. What are you doing in church? It's hardly the monster Jules had heard rumor of. Look at that. Stop, 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 stop being so mad. One thing about babies, they are probably more dangerous than anything else for three reasons. One is they're small and everything's trying to eat them. So they defend themselves with as much aggression as they can come up with. Two, they're very camouflage. You don't see them. They can hide under a jar or under a piece of rock just like that. And when you dig around the garden, bang, you get bitten. The other thing is, because they have little tiny rattles or no rattles at all when they're first born, you don't hear them. And they are venomous when they're born. 